Hey guys, well, welcome back to another little session uh, here flying with the F-16, but um, it's not about the F-16 or the new uh, harm targeting pod or something like that. It's not about all the advantages you get with the 16 right now. It is more about a common thing, like how do you fly? Why do you fly the way you fly? And how do you do an approach? And why is your approach better than my approach? And how can I get there? So all of this is related to a little series I'm working, right on, uh, I'm working on right now, which is about mental math as a pilot, pilot math. Basically, it will show you um, how you can calculate your descent rates, your top of descents, while you try to maintain um, or cope with certain restrictions in, uh, let's say, not only military controlled airspace, but in civil or commercial controlled airspace too. And uh, I want to dive into that. And today I want to start with one of the most important things that we should take a look at, and that is the altimeter setting. Okay, here we are in the mission editor. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to take a look at certain um, certain values and settings we can do here in the mission editor regarding the, the weather, because that is going to influence the altimeter setting in our planes dramatically. So first of all, let's take a look at the weather. And here you can see uh, the presets scattered seven right now. It could be anything else. By the way, if you hover over this, it's going to give you a meta information about it. Uh, but it's not going to give you a local Q&H that you can set down here. So right now I set a local Q&H um, of 30907 inches of mercury. And there's another one which would be the equivalent, which is in hectopascals, which would be an equivalent number to that one. You can calculate that. I can show you later on, or you just go over to Wikipedia and look it up yourself. But the thing is, this is the imperial version, and then there is a metric version. So let's um, let's take a look at that uh, in particular, because there's a standard pressure. Standard pressure would be two nine or nine or two. All right, so you would have like two nine or decimal nine or two, which would be standard pressure in inches of mercury. The equivalent in hectopascals would be one zero one three, so ten thirteen. But we cannot set that here in uh, DCS right now. So other than that, that q &H is a local q &H which is regarding, always regarding to MSL. All right. It is always MSL level, mean sea level. So whatever you do, q &H always is based on that one. So everybody's talking about the same altitude because MSL. All right. Then there's a second one, which is called QFE. And we're going to take a look at these two um, settings, the Q and H and the Q of E separately while we're sitting in the Viper. But before we're going to do that, uh, let's take a look at the airport chart here real quick, because this is going to show you that Nellis Air Force Base has, well, they were, they were really, They were really good here. They, they set a lot of different elevations. You see these elevation marks over here, but there is the way more important thing, which is the field elevation. All right. So the field elevation, Nellis Air Force Base is 1869 feet. OK, we're going to keep in mind 1870 feet round about that. All right. OK, so this number is what we should see on our altimeter while we are dialing in a local QNH of 30907. Let's test that while we're jumping into the plane and we're going to take a look at the altimeter settings. See you there. Okay, so here we are on the cockpit and um, first off, let's take a look at the uh, readings of our uh, altimeter tape here in the, in the HUD. So as you can see, it states 1810 feet. So let's take a look down to the center pedestal and zoom in a little bit more. And let me turn off the uh, 
track are for you. Here we go. So right now, what we can see is there is the altimeter setting of the local QNH that we set in the mission editor, which is 30907, which is true, which is going to give us round about 1,800, a little bit over 1,800 feet. Uh, a little bit in between is like maybe like what you just saw on the heading tape, 1,810, something like that, because it's in increments of 20, it's 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. All right. So this is while you set a local Q&H, which is totally fine because the field elevation is, as we saw on the chart, 1,800 and roughly 70, well, 96, 70. All right, let's get this straight and even it's not rocket science, it's estimation that we need to take care of. Okay, so this is a Q&H in DCS. Other than that is a QFE which is given by ATC. So what is a QFE? As I said, a Q and H is always uh, dependent on mean sea level, means MSL. So we're talking about the same thing, right? Uh, let's say up to a certain altitude, which is called the transition altitude. Let me guess, I think in, uh, in the US it is 18,000 feet uh, transition altitude. And then, depending on that, it is the transition level while you're coming back down, let's say, from flight level 300. So, why are we talking about flight levels? Why are we talking about altitude? Is something I'd like to cover in another video. But here, we uh, have the ability to tune in a QFE. And that's what's given by ATC and DCS most of the time. Well, not most of the time, it is always given. A QFE refers to the height. The QFE is going to subtract the 1,870 feet and zeros this out. So, local QNH is 30907, is what you see in the mission briefing as well. And now, we're gonna bring this down to a QFE that is going to zero out the jet. And it looks like we are pretty straight and even at 2900 right now. Let me turn on my track RR again. Now let's take a look over here. Altitude tape says zero feet. And that's exactly what a QFE does. So the QFE is going to give us a zeroed out alt uh, altimeter. So this is very handy and useful, especially if you're flying patterns. You don't have to do uh, additional mental math while you're, uh, while you're flying. So that should cover things for that first series of videos to declare what is a local Q&H, which is only dependent on mean sea level. And um, then you have a QFE, which is based on the field elevation of the airport, which is basically only giving you a height based on a barometric pressure. Okay, guys, let's wrap this up. With this little uh, video, I'm going to see you in another video where we are going to talk about um, some other stuff like when do we set a standard pressurized um, barometric pressure and dial it in there to uh, basically fly at the same um, altitude as, let's say, an airliner. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up. I hope you found that. Um, or you find that um, interesting and informative, and see you all in the next video.